हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आई मस्ट गेट एकेडमी आई होप यू गाइस आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग गेट एग्जाम एज नाउ वी नो ओनली फ्यू डेज आर लेफ्ट फॉर दिस बिग डे सो वी नीड टू प्रिपेयर इन अ मोर स्ट्रेटेजिक मैनर वी नीड टू प्रिपेयर विद मोर हार्ड वर्क एंड डेफिनेटली वी रिक्वायर्ड अ कंसिस्टेंसी टिल द लास्ट सो दैट वॉट एवर एफर्ट यू डिड टिल नाउ इट विल गिव यू ए फ्रूटफुल रिजल्ट so in this manner i'm going to tell you in this special session how to prepare very well what should be your strategy in these last 50 days in engineering mathematics and aptitude because we know very well engineering mathematics and general aptitude will play a vital role to achieving a good get score and definitely these two subjects will help you to having a good rank also so you should not miss any single task in maths and aptitude so let's see what should be the strategy in last 50 days so that you can perform very well in these two subjects at the day of the exam if i will talk about the last 50 day strategy before that first of all we should know the weightage of maths and aptitude so the maths having 13 marks weightage and general aptitude will having 15 marks weightage so togetherly these two subjects will consist of 28 mark if you prepared till now with the all the concept if you are clear with all the basics of maths and aptitude if you prepare if you have a good uh, good practice also then definitely an average student also from now itself they uh, a student can score 23 plus in this case so let's have a discussion what should be the stages of preparation so first of all you need to be clear with all the concept if you are clear with the concept if you are having a good command on your basics you are having a good command on the concepts of maths and aptitude so it will definitely help you to approaching the easy and toughest both types of question second thing you should go with the more practice question so till now if you not prepare for the pre previous year get question you need to go with the last year get question so that you can see which type of pattern we are having in the last few years and it will help you in performing it will help you and definitely to increasing your confidence also now the in these last 50 days you need to go with these two steps these two steps will definitely help you the step first is the revision which is must and the compulsory required how to do the revision you need to do the revision and if you i hope you guys are preparing since last few months so you all students are having notes so you need to prepare you need to revise from your notes okay if you are having the short notes you can go through that one if you are having detailed notes you can go through that one also while you are reading while you are revising from your notes na suppose you think that th this is a special formula or this is a special thing which is which you oftenly forgot so you can just highlight that special thing or you want then you can write down that in a specific paper or in a simple paper so that whenever you want to revise you can go for the revision of that special thing also second thing you need to go for the test more and more test because na the pattern of questions you can see in more and more variety of question you can see in the test it will increase your confidence second thing your approach in the test how you are approaching how you are reading the question how you are performing in the question it will give you confidence definitely so whenever you will give the test it should not only that you are giving the the test and after the test you can just see your answer and you just close and you will go for the next no what you need to do na dear students whenever you will perform any test you need to after every test suppose you are performing or you are doing a 60 minute test so after that 60 minute you need to evaluate on yourself five minimum 5 to 10 minute you need to evaluate in this in this last test whatever you did how was your experience okay how was your experience how you were reading the question how you were approaching the question are you able to uh, to do the question very easily or you are facing some difficulties so this approach will help you so whatever the mistake you did in the previous test you will not repeat in the next test so this evaluation this self evaluation is very very important here now let's talk about specifically maths and aptitude so if i will talk about engineering mathematics these are the few most important topics which you need to cover and these topics are very important throughout all the branches so if i will talk about first one linear algebra highly weighted topic you should not miss this one second is calculus third is probability in linear algebra you need to be strong with the basics you need to be strong with the small small things just like the determinant you need to be strong with the 
terminate here you need to be clear with all the concepts of rank how to find out the rank because in the last few years we can see the questions from the rank from the matrix algebra are definitely very good questions we are having so you need to go with the rank of matrix here you need to go the very very important topic is eigenvalue eigenvector so how you can perform very well or how you can approach a question of eigenvalue if you are clear with the determinant if you know the concept of determinant then only you can prepare then you then only you can approach the question of eigenvalue eigenvector so that's why the linear algebra is definitely an important topic every branch student should go for the revision of the concept plus you should go for the for the more and more practice question also the second topic which is important is the calculus so in the calculus we are having three categories first is the differential calculus second is the vector calculus and third is the integral calculus so if you are a student who want to go for the differential calculus second i can write down the integral calculus and third i can mention here as in vector calculus so if you want to appear here if you want to appear here with the differential calculus in the differential calculus one topic is there which is asking asking since last few we are in the get exam that is the limit so you need to be clear with all the concepts of limit how to approach the limit okay with the dl hospital rule how to identify whether we are having an indeterminate form or not all the simple and the, the strategic formulas of limit also should be clear in your mind second is the integral calculus in the same in the differential calculus we are having one more topic that is the maxima minima so you need to be good with the maxima minima also you need to be very well okay you you are you should having a, enough practice in maxima minima so that in every type of question whether this is a maxima minima for single variable or maxima minima for double variable you can be very comfortable second one is the integral calculus in integral calculus you can you should clear with all the concept of definite and indefinite integral plus one more topic is there which you need to be clear which is the double integral okay and the last one is vector calculus you definitely vector calculus in three operators and three theorems are there green gauss stock divergent gradient divergent curl so these six things are very very important including this one here we can see in the last few year the question from area between the curves also we can see the variety of questions since last few years from the change in the order of integration also so all the concepts of calculus you should not miss you need to be clear and all the basic formulas all the important concepts should be on your tips in the calculus if i will talk about the next topic which is probability so definitely probability is having a great great score also in your upcoming maths and aptitude both because probability we can see the questions can ask in the maths also and in the aptitude also so for that you need to read in the probability only one keyword is there you need to read the question very carefully if you are clear with the language of the question then only you can approach the question so in this case also you should know the basics of probability all the types of the question we, which we already discussed how to deal with the dice pattern of question how to deal with the tail means coin based head and tail type of question how to deal with the bag and ball type of question and here the one of the very important topic is the random variable which you should not miss so these three topics are having high weightage so every student should go through with the with the simple thing to the toughest thing in these three topics if i will talk about the next topic so in in terms of the next topic i am having here easily scoreable topics so these four topics are those where you should not leave any single thing why because in differential equation we can see every specific pattern having a specific approach and you need to follow that one if you want to go to go to solve a question from the variable separation you should follow the some specific pattern if you want to solve the question from the linear you should follow some specific pattern so every question is having specific approach and having specific pattern so there is no not so much variety okay there is not so much variation in the question in last few years that's why i'm talking about these topics are easily scoreable the second topic which you can score very well is the complex variable because here we are having only two things first is the the basics of complex number it can include the analytical function it can include the uh, the basic of complex means they can ask you about the modulus or the basic angle 
and the second thing which is very very important is the complex integration so you need to know how to find out the residue how to find how to use the complex integration in the Cauchy's integral formula by the Cauchy's integral or by the residue theorem so the complex integration should be clear in your mind if I will talk about the numerical method, so here also we are having specific approach. Newton Epson definitely important. Simpsons important. Trapezoidal important. Euler's important. So these three, four methods are very, very important and very easily. They all methods are having specific approach which you need to follow, which you need to apply. Nothing else. And the last one is transform theory. In terms of the Laplace transform, you need to be clear with the sim simple formulas of Laplace and inverse Laplace also. You need to clear with the initial value theorem, final value theorem. So basic, basic things here, here we are having. So these four topics are which I can say where you should not miss any single thing because in these four topics now, we can see a simple question also even even there will be a tough toughest question that also not having so much variation since last few years we are having this pattern only now if i will talk about the uh, general aptitude so in general aptitude we are having four segments first is the quantitative aptitude second is the re reasoning third is the verbal and the last is the spatial so verbal aptitude is all about the basic english so if you are good with the class 10th english if you know the 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 sense of the tenses okay if you are having the basic knowledge of the grammar if you are strong with the vocab then very easily you can perform in this verbal aptitude because it's all about the vocab one word idioms okay the basic class 10th uh, apt, uh, basic class 10th english is required here if basic knowledge of grammar is required here nothing else so this will cover a uh, minimum two to three marks weightages here for this one the major thing here is the quantity of aptitude which cover 7 to 8 mark weightage or 6 to 7 we can say. But quantity of aptitude having so many topics. So here you need to prepare with all the topics just like the percentage is here. Okay, you need to prepare. It's In terms of the preparation, you need to go for the more and more practice. If you are having enough practice now, then definitely no question can beat you. No one can stop you to solving any single question. So you should have enough practice with the clarity of concept. These are the only two fundas. So here if I will talk about the quantity of aptitude, you need to go with the percentage. You can see in the last few years we are having questions from the ratio proportion also. Variety of questions from the ratio proportion. We can see the question from the average also. We can see the question from the time, speed and distance. Okay, bar graph type of questions are also there. We can see the questions from the geometry also. Every year, almost every year we are having questions from the geometry also. So all the topics you need to go for the enough practice. Practice. The second is reasoning as the reasoning part is simple they can ask you about the missing term they can ask you about the blood relation the direction type of question sitting arrangement type of question clock calendar type of question so these things should be clear in your mind the only because these topics are not having any concept so here the practice will help you in the reasoning we are not having any any specific concept okay so we need to follow only and only the practice so if you are having a good practice on these topics of the reasoning definitely you can do very well and the last one is the special so special is the newly added since last two years we are have we can see the questions from the special are based on the mirror image or the the questions from based on the rotation so you need to go for the practice from these specific segments of special also if I will talk about dear student the revision so revision as I told you revision can help you only when you will go for the short notes okay if you will go always every time with the detailed note then it will it will be a time taking task and it will not give you as effective result and the second thing when while you are going through the revision if you face any difficulty you need to note down so that when you will whenever you will feel okay that specific thing is missing from your mind you can just recall on that time so in that case the short notes will help you every time the second point is the practice 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 this is very important and if you are having enough practice all variety it should not be only one type of question so you should have the the practice of all the variety of question the means the easy also the moderate also and some tough question also should be in your mind so that you can see the variety 
एंड वेन यू विल गो फॉर द मोर एंड मोर प्रैक्टिस ना इट विल इंक्रीज योर कॉन्फिडेंस सेकेंड वेन एवर यू विल गो फॉर द प्रैक्टिस यू शुड गो प्रैक्टिस विद द टाइमर ओके सपोज यू आर डूइंग प्रैक्टिस फ्रॉम एनी शीट तो यू शुड सेट द टाइमर हेयर ओके सो यू कैन सेट द टाइमर सिक्सटी मिनट वंस द टाइमर विल बी डन यू कैन सी हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन यू अप्रोच इन दैट स्पेसिफिक ड्यूरेशन यू कैन सी ओके हाउ वॉज योर योर एक्यूरेसी लेवल इन दैट सिक्सटी मिनट सो एवरीथिंग यू कैन एनालाइज every every practice will help you okay to perform very well in your actual get exam so that's why you need to go for the practice in terms of the timing all only so set the timer whatever is your suitability you can see how how is your accuracy working are you doing negative or you are doing very well how you can understand the language of the question can you easily understand it or you are facing difficulty while understanding the language of the question so everything will help you if you will go for the simple or strategic practice so in that case you should add the timer timer can be added suppose you want to do the 45 questions okay you can set the timer of 60 minute if you want to do the 50 question just set the timer of 60 minute so that you can see how you are performing and self evaluation is very very important here so that's why after performing every practice whether in terms of the questions whether in terms of the the sheets or whether in terms of the test you need to evaluate yourself how you were approaching uh, how means how was your confidence level how was your your understanding level while you are reading the question so this is very very important again here okay and the best thing you need to avoid the negativities because in last in these last 50 days now there will be so much negativities around you okay and definitely these social media handles will will distract you okay so you need to avoid as minimum as as possible you need to use these social medias so that you can you can concentrate you can consistent with your preparation because here this is the time when you need to give only and only on your study okay and the second thing i will give you there is no need to uh, there is no need no need to take any single type of stress because don't stress do your best this is the only thing which you can do if you will be in very stress ki okay how i will perform then also it's not in your hand so better right now this is the time you need to prepare only okay go for the meditation if you think that i am in stretch or i am in stress or i am having some negativity around me so every day in morning 10 minutes and in evening 10 minutes go for the walk with the nature okay without your gadgets so that you can feel the fresh air you can have some positivity in yourself and you can use that positivity in your work definitely so dear students prepare well all the very best for your upcoming get exam don't worry don't take stress just do your best all the very best thank you